and kooky, mysterious and spooky, but his last name is Adams. Please come up for Kyle! celebrate the day you were conceived. And by celebrating, I mean watching your parents fuck. If you want to, you want to consider it a great miracle, you have to witness the miracle. Every time that you turn another age and you're a year older, you have to watch your parents fuck, then you get your stupid Best Buy gift card, alright? There you go. No one cares about your fucking birthday, I'm sorry. Um, it, it's narcissistic and it's stupid, it's an inconsequential thing, you know? I mean, if you want to hang out with friends and have a good time, have a drink, that's cool. Don't fucking stress over it. You're gonna disappoint yourself, you know? And I was thinking about it, you know, what did the people who, um, you know, have single parents or have a parent who, God forbid, passed away have to do? Um, you're gonna have to watch either your uh, dear mom or dad uh, masturbate. So you're gonna have to do that. And you know, it's gonna be just as disappointing as any birthday party they would have thrown for you anyways, because they're a single parent. <laughs> um, you know, uh, birthdays are for kids, you know? They're just for kids. Um, there's a certain point, you're, just, you're done with them, you know, you're done, you're done. Um, I don't want to have any kids, I really don't, and I, I reached that point on uh, Christmas last year. My, uh, my roommate, his seven-year-old niece, um, she spit in my face on Christmas. <laughs> that is no lie, I couldn't write a joke that funny, that, that, she fucking spit in my face. And her mother is one of those, um, those positive affirmation like hippie ladies. I don't want to discipline my child and make her feel like less of a human being or ever, you know, like discipline her. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't want to tell her what's wrong. She's just gonna have to wait till she gets to middle school and have a fucking gigantic crazy wake up call. And she's like, you know, that was a nice arc you made with that spit. <laughs> and uh, I was just as flabbergasted, it spit right in my fucking face. And from now on, you can ask my girlfriend, I uh, tie my condoms in knots. After I'm done with them, just out of the sheer fear that my uh, sperm will somehow swim their way into an ovulating vagina. <laughs> I don't want any of that. Um, you know, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to get old. I don't. I really don't want to get old. You know, that's kind of the, the fucked up part of life. You know, like you, you you reach a certain point and then it's just downhill. It's all downhill at a certain point. You know, I don't want to get old. And, and its main thing is nostalgia. And I'm already feeling it, you guys. Nostalgia is a huge thing. You yearn for those younger days, and you you want the things that you know you grew up with. And I realized that we live in the saddest generation of all because we're already there. We're, <laughs> we're like twenty somethings, thirty somethings. You remember Nin Ninja Turtles? Those were the days. Yeah. You know, remember when Doug Funny was on Nickelodeon? Woo! So it was such a great time. We're gonna spend all of our days on Netflix watching old episodes. Like, what the fuck? What are we doing now? We're supposed to be building shit, and we're supposed to be busy doing things. Fucking... <laughs> I'm watching Tarzan on Netflix, and I realize it's just a Phil Collins music video. I mean, it's bullshit. Uh, <laughs> I had, a, I had an old guy, um, I was serving, I'm a, I'm a server at a very corporate restaurant, and I was serving this guy, and um, I, I was asking everyone at the table what they wanted to drink, and I got to him, and he goes, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> I was like, what the hell did you say? And I didn't say what the hell, of course, but I was like, what did you say? And he goes, I'll have an RC Cola. And I go, RC Cola? Is this a, is this like grocery outlet? <laughs> is this a Kmart vending machine? Where the hell are we? And you know, that was his actual choice. He thought that was an available option. It's nostalgia, man. You know, and it, it comes back to, you know, I've been fooled by nostalgia before. You guys ever seen that movie Surf Ninjas from the 90s? <laughs> yeah, dude, that movie was awesome. Hey, there was a red-haired guy in that movie, and I was like, man, that red-haired guy is so cool and so funny. I looked it up on IMDb. It's fucking Rob Schneider. <laughs> It's Rob Schneider, and I wanted to emulate Rob Schneider as a child. Nostalgia, man, it'll fucking blind you. <laughs> it'll blind you. Um, let's see here. <laughs> what else do I got? So, I work at a corporate restaurant. Um, it's, let's call it Blue Buzzard. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't know what call it's really called. I don't know the legal ramifications of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she shouldn't be. But uh, they could be watching. <laughs> Um, and it depresses the hell out of me because I used to work at this bistro and they had amazing food. Everything was like organic and amazing and it was cheap. Everything was affordable. We had uh, amazing fresh cupcakes every day out in front. We had brunch. We had bottomless mimosas. Nobody ever came in ever. I was there. I'd wait two hours for a table sometimes and i just go, well, that looks dirty. <laughs> A whole freaking day long, and I'd never listen to like Frank Sinatra music, and it'd be like, uh, You fell in love, and love is a tender trap, and I'm trapped with you. And I'm just like, Fuck, I'm trapped with these people on this sinking ship of a restaurant. This is horrible. So I sold my soul to the devil, and now I'm at Blue Buzzard, and you just see packs of packs of fucking families just pushing their fat faces through the door and the food is all GMO-tastic and <laughs> it's just frozen cartilage wings and uh, just slovenly angry faces. Free fillable mac and cheese, that sounds good. Uh, you know, bullshit. I don't want to go there anymore. Thank you guys. Therapy, one day at a time. That's right, therapy, five to six so minutes at a time. So your last guy was wearing the insignia of the Dark Knight. Your next performance.